the billions of stars in our galaxy lie scattered over an area 100,000 light years in diameter. Now scientists have created a detailed map of the entire stretch of the Milky Way we can see in the sky using two of the world's largest fully steerable radio telescopes. The map created by scientists at the University of Bonn is the most detailed study yet of the hydrogen produced by the stars in our galaxy. The scientists use the Effelsberg 100M radio telescope in Bad Munstreifel, Germany and CSI are Earth Parks Observatory in New South Wales, Australia. They looked at neutral atomic hydrogen, the most abundant element in space and the main component of stars and galaxies, over the entire sky in a survey known as HI4PI. The project required more than a million individual observations and 10 billion individual data points. University of Bonn astronomer Dr. Jürgen Kerb said although neutral hydrogen is fairly easy to detect with modern radio telescopes, mapping the whole sky is a significant achievement. Radio noise caused by mobile phones and broadcast stations pollute the faint emissions coming from stars and galaxies in the universe, he said. So sophisticated computer algorithms have to be developed to clean each individual data point of this unwanted human interference. Next to the thousands of observing hours and even larger amount of time has been spent creating the final scientific data product released today. The HI4PI survey improves the previous neutral hydrogen study. The Latin Argentine bond survey by a factor of 2 in sensitivity and a factor of 4 in angular resolution. Professor Lister Stavely Smith from the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research said the study reveals fine details of structures between stars in the Milky Way for the first time. These structures have been smeared out by the coarse sampling of the sky in the lab survey, he said. Pilot studies of the HI4PI data show a wealth of filamentary structures never seen before. Tiny clouds become visible that appear to have fueled star formation in the Milky Way for billions of years. These objects are too dim and too small to be detected even in the other galaxies closest to us. Dr. Benjamin Winkle from the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy said having a clearer picture of the hydrogen in the Milky Way would also help astronomers to explore galaxies even at cosmological distances. Like the clouds at the sky, all observations we receive from the distant universe have to pass through hydrogen in our own Milky Way, he said. The HI4PI data allows us to correct accurately for all these hydrogen clouds and clean the window we are watching through.